This is Twit. So bad as it was, it turns out that now that the dust has settled a little bit from the Kaseya crazy, like largest in history attack, it could have been a lot worse, which is what, and I guess the, the right way to say this is it turns out it wasn't as bad as we thought it was going to be. Uh, you know, despite the fact that somewhere on the order of 1,500 end user organizations were attacked with the Revil ransomware, uh, unfortunately, uh, using Kaseya's VSA servers as their way into or onto those networks, uh, it turns out that something quite significant was absent from the Kaseya VSA server-based attacks. Uh, we've been we've become quite used to the individual nightmare stories that follow these attacks. It turns out that something that the attacks did not do turned out to be more significant than people appreciated. Okay, so as we know. When ransomware gangs conduct the typical attack, they breach a network to actually get into a victim's systems, onto their network. They set up shop there, take a good long look around, figure out where they are, what's valuable, you know, like where the goodies are, establish some mechanism for persistence, and thoroughly survey the territory. Then as a means of increasing their extortion leverage, they'll exfiltrate sometimes bracing amounts of internal, private, and probably confidential data. You know, we've heard numbers like 700, uh, 700 terabytes of data. <coughs> Excuse me, just phenomenal amounts of data. And, of course, they use that to increase their the, the pressure on their victim to pay up. Once they've got the data exfiltrated, they'll carefully wipe and completely eradicate any and all backups that they've been able to locate. Uh, and then, as their last act, they trigger the encryption of all of the machines within that they've had access to or found access to everywhere. But that's not what happened during the Kaseya attacks. As I noted above, the Revil affiliate simply used their Kaseya VSA access to download and run the Sodino Kibi encrypting ransomware. No network penetration was performed. As I mentioned last week, there were indications even then that no internal data had been exfiltrated. Now we know that to be true for certain. And no backups were located and wiped. Although it's not nothing to have encrypted all of an organization's computers, it turns out that it actually makes a huge difference when the ransom price of a per-client decryptor is $5 million and the client discovers, thanks you know, to their tremendous relief, that all of their backups are still there, in place and usable. So... The result of what turned out to be sort of half-baked ransomware, even though it was a blitz, it affected, you know, 1,500 plus organizations. It turns out that in this case, ransoms are often not being paid. Instead, encrypted systems are being restored from backups rather than being decrypted. Without the data exfiltration and no way to restore except by paying ransom and obtaining a decryption key, that Revil affiliate lost a huge amount of leverage over their victim organizations. Multiple organizations and an MSP told Bleeping Computer that none of their backups were affected and that they chose to restore from backups rather than paying a ransom. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you would. <laughs> yeah, do the math. Uh, Bill Siegel, who is the CEO of Coveware, which is a, a leading ransomware negotiation firm, told Bleeping Computer that this is what they also had been seeing and that a single one of their clients has had to pay ransom. He said, impacted MSPs are going to be stretched for a while as they restore their clients. 
But so far, none of the clients we have triaged have needed to pay a ransom. He said, I'm sure there are some victims out there that who will need to, but this could have been a lot worse. So it's great news that a week or two out, we're not talking about 1,500 individual and extremely expensive disasters as a result of the single Kaseya VSA server mess. Mm -hmm. Questions have been raised about how the hackers knew of the vulnerability. Did the news that it was soon to be patched somehow leak? Did they know that they only had a brief window of exploitability so they may have been in a rush? You know, if they were the typical Revil affiliate, they surely knew, had to know that not entering individual networks to survey, exfiltrate, and wipe backups would dramatically reduce their leverage. But perhaps they hoped to make it up in the numbers because, you know, this was a huge, huge attack. You know, perhaps they assumed that they'd score enough ransoms to make up for those who would choose to restore from backups. Or they hoped that many smaller organizations still weren't doing backups. You know, as, as Bill Siegel said, he did expect that there would be some ransoms paid. So let's hope that this does remain the biggest ever ransomware attack in terms of numbers of compromised organizations and that we don't see that being exceeded uh, and that it actually turns out to be one of the smaller attacks on balance when you take a look at the actual number of ransoms that had to be paid. Now, what about, um, so, so sure they were able to stop the, um, or that they, you know, they were, they had the backups, but doesn't that yep. also mean that that data is still stolen and out there? So there was still a data breach what does one do about that? Do they just notify all of their clients, hey, all of your personal information is out there on the web now? No, that, that, that's actually what, what was so cool is that the, the servers that were vulnerable uh -huh. had an authentication problem that allowed the attacker to use the server only to like do an auto-update to their client's computers. That auto-update was malicious and it did the encryption, oh, but it okay. did nothing else. Oh, okay, all gotcha. they were all, all they were able to do was to push the the ransomware out to these in, like out to these client systems. Um, you know, it would then encrypt everything it could, but it performed no exfiltration. Gotcha. So there was no data leak as a consequence. Okay, I got you now. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so, so made it way better.